In this video, you will learn how to add fractions with different denominators. This is important because you can't add them unless the bottoms are the same. So knowing how to fix that helps you get the right answer. Let's start with the first problem. Half plus 1 over 3. So, you can use the comma multiple, least comma multiple to solve this problem. So let's find the least comma multiples of 3 and 2, or 2 or 3. So for 2 we have 2, 4, 6, 8. For 3 we have 3, 6, 9. And the least comma multiple, and the least comma multiple is the least number of both, which is 6. Now, the 6 will be now our denominator. So, you can go ahead and divide 6 by 2 and divide 6 by 3. 6 divided by 2 will be 3 and 6 divided by 3 will be 2. Now, take this 2 and um, now take this 3 and multiply it by 1, so 3 times 1 is 3, and take this 2 and multiply it by 1, 2 times 1 is 2. Now 3 plus 2 will be 5 over 6. This is our final answer, but this is a little complicated, so let me show you the best way to solve unlike denominators. So let me erase and uh, make some space over here so that I can show you the best way to do this. Now, let me rewrite this problem over here and this one over here and let's take this 3 and let's multiply it on both sides and let's take now this 2 and multiply it on this side. Now, this way we can easily get the denominator to be like. So unlike denominators, we need to make the denominators to be like. So 3 times 2 is 6 and 2 times 3 is 6. As you see, we have 6 and 6. Denominator is 6. Now let's multiply 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. And 1 times 2 is simply 2. So 3 plus 2, we add them together, will be 5 over 6. Right here is another example. Let's rewrite this problem. And let's multiply this number on this side. And let's take this number and multiply it on this side. So what will our denominator be? So, as you see, 5 times 4 is 20, and 4 times 5 is 20. That's a good sign. And then 5 times 3 will be 15, and 2 times 4 will be 8. Now, if we add 15 plus 8, that will be 23 over 20. Now, whenever the denominator is smaller, than the numerator, we can simplify this number. So 20 goes into 23 one time. And we will have a remainder of 3. And let's put that 3 over 20. So here we have our final answer. All right, here's another example. You know what to do. Let's practice 8 over this side and 6 over this side. We will multiply the denominators to get them to be like. So 6 times 8 is 48. And 6 times 8 times 6 is 48. So that's a good sign when the denominators are the same. Now, 8 times 4 is 40. And 1 times 6 is 6. 40 plus 6 is 46 over 48. Now, whenever the numerator and the denominator are even numbers, we can find a number that can divide 
people with these numbers. So let's go with 2. So 46 divided by 2 is 23. And 48 divided by 2 is 24. So this number here can't be reduced anymore. So this will be our final answer. All right, here's another example. 2 over 3 plus 4 over 9. So let me go ahead and let's multiply this by 3. And let's multiply this side by 9. So 9 times 3 is 27. And 3 times 9 is 27. We're good. 9 times 2 is 18. And 4 times 3 is 12. 18 plus 12 will give you 30 over 27. And now, the denominator is smaller than the numerator. So we can simplify this. How many times does 27 go into 30? Well, it goes one time. And, and we will have a remainder of 3 over 27. But be careful. But we're not finished because, as you see, this here, we can simplify it by 3. We're not finished yet. So you always have to check the fraction if it can be farther simplified. So this can be simplified by 3 which will be 1 and this one will be 9 so our final answer will be 1 1 over 9 this is our final answer so there you have it now you can add unlike denominators thanks for watching and let me know down in the comments your thoughts and thanks for watching see you in the next one